New this midday, we have an update from City Hall in Kansas City on progress to replace the Buck O'Neill Bridge. The first step is closing the southbound lanes of that bridge, and that will happen later this year. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is following the story for us. Charlie? Hey, Cynthia, those southbound lanes here of the Buck O'Neill Bridge behind me will be closed between July and December of this year. Crews have to shut down the lane so they can make repairs necessary to keep this bridge open for the next five years or so while they build a replacement bridge right here next to it. So the current Buck O'Neill Bridge you're looking at there needs repairs to its expansion joints, its suspension cables, and that center support pier that really holds this whole bridge up. But those repairs are part of the short-term plan with the long-term vision and goal of totally replacing the Buck O'Neill Bridge. Eventually, that new bridge will actually connect 169 Highway directly into I-35 in downtown Kansas City, eliminating those traffic lights you have to sit at on Broadway at 5th and 6th Streets. The engineer in charge of this project lives in the Northland, and he's been telling his neighbors to really focus on that long-term vision. Most folks, including my neighbors, want the new bridge and they want the better connection because they're getting tired of sitting on the backups. Uh, there's a lot of folks, too, that get tired of watching people walk in the middle of the bridge um, and try to cross that. At today's meeting discussing the bridge, the uh, Transportation and Infrastructure Committee also passed the general framework for paying for the new bridge. It's going to be a $200 million project with the city paying for $60 million of that deal. The city plans to apply for grants and they ask uh, and pay for this using uh, sales tax revenue as well. In Kansas City, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.